good morning. And it is a good morning. Yeah. Oh, so we're almost in the middle of February. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm still trying to understand certain behavior characteristics among young Earth creationists in particular who are, dare I say it, incredibly dishonest people. They say and do the most dishonest things. They rely upon the most dishonest of tactics. And, hmm, uh, and they, uh, they demonstrate a degree of moral cowardice that, honestly, I find just a little bit shocking. To say nothing of confusing as hell, because, yeah, I expect better from people who have grown up and become adults. But these people, well, they don't seem to have ever actually become adults. And they still need their fairy tales. They still, oh, they still need their magic genie to make things happen. They still need sorcery and wizards and witches and boogeymen of every sort. They're not prepared to accept natural explanations, no matter how well supported those explanations are, no matter how much evidence is presented in favor of those explanations, they're just not willing to accept them. And they have a script. Quite a lot of them have a script. And in this script, we, the non-creationists, are supposed to behave in a certain manner. And when we fail to behave in the manner that their script predicts, they just ignore it and bulldoze forward exactly as though we had said and done everything in the script. And very often their script is quite literally a chick track. They read Jick, Jack Chick, one of Jack Chick's many very badly written comic tracts, and uh, <clears throat> rather than recognizing it as the bullshit that it is, they instead think, oh, this must be the way things really work. And they run with it, and that becomes their script. Of course, there are other gospel track writers, none as prolific as Chick, but still, purveyors of fine bullshit, every single one of them. And that's something that we need to recognize, is that very often, young Earth creationists are working from a script that was written for them years, if not decades ago, by Jack Chick. <sighs> yeah. And that's really the only explanation for the bizarrely bad behavior that these people demonstrate. They're following a script they're expecting us to follow the script, and when we don't, they become very frustrated. Because we are not playing the part that they have assigned to us. And unfortunately, young Earth creationists really prefer their script over the facts that exist on the ground. 